Good evening. I'm Angela Taylor. And I'm Rod Carter. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. From having his life flash before his eyes to now being back on the job. This week marks one year since a Nash County deputy was shot multiple times during a traffic stop along I-95 while on the job. Tonight, Deputy William Tony spoke with CBS 17's Nick Sturdivant about his recovery and what he remembers from that day. Deputy Tony credits God and the support of his family and community for helping him get through this all. And he told me this has not only been a physical journey, but a mental one too. Nash County Deputy William Tony says every day is a work in progress. Still alive and still here. From physical therapy. Get that mobility back in my hand. Um, don't have feeling in the first three fingers. Still struggling with the basic stuff of uh, buttoning my shirt. To getting help to cope with trauma. Still now and then I have a little a flashback here and there of um, the incident itself. February 4th, 2021. According to the sheriff, one of the Nash County Criminal Addiction Units was working traffic on I-95. Shortly after being there, we had this guy come flying by. So, you know, we're running radar and we went out to stop him for, for speeding. The sheriff's office says a Mercedes Benz with Florida tags was speeding. The sheriff also says Deputy Shelby Smith attempted to pull over this man, Jared Ford. For speeding. Smith ended up calling backup because of suspected criminal activity. That's when Tony, a canine handler, arrived. Moments later, the sheriff says Ford pulled out a gun and started shooting, hitting Tony multiple times. The sheriff also says Deputy Smith shot back, hitting Ford. Ford was eventually taken into custody. As for Tony, he was taken to Biden Hospital where he underwent surgery. Later that week, he was met by a police escort and a big welcome home from the hospital. I went from, from coming home to adjusting and doc's appointments and the sheriff's department was very helpful to me. Tony says he's on light duty, mostly doing community engagement work, but he says his goal is to be back on patrol. My dream was to be a policeman, you know, and, and, and to be a canine officer. And I, I thank God I was able to see that. You know, a lot of people don't get to see their dreams come true. So my, mine came true, and I hope that, you know, God willing that I'm able to come back and, and get back on the street. Now, as for the man who shot Deputy Tony, he faces several charges, including attempted first-degree murder. According to court records, he's due back in court March 1st. In Nash County, Nick Sturdivant, CBS 17 News. All right, Nick, thank you.